Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So today we have the April Bam Box Horror Box right here. I already took off my label and everything. Uh, I don't really remember any of the franchises in this one. Also, uh, if people are into it, this is my Joe Bob Briggs shirt. You can see. Can you see it all? I don't know. I lifted it up so I couldn't see. And notice his uh, little lizard there also with a cowboy hat. It's pretty cool. Anyway, I got this through Fright Rags. Fright Rags is really good stuff. So uh, if you like Joe Bob, they have some of his shirts available now. Um, and they also have pins, uh, one that says The Last Drive-In. So if you have interest in that, check out Fright Rags. Uh, anyway, so this is, yeah, the April Bambox Horror Box. So update real fast. I had talked about it before about the fact that I'm really only into the horror items so I was thinking about dropping the pop culture box through BAM, even though overall I like it as far as like a box and I still like the pins and prints and stuff, but a lot of the stuff like the properties I'm just not that into. So with horror, that's like my main thing that I'm really into. So I figure I'll just keep getting the horror because I've been enjoying that stuff more because I was just like, am I just going to keep getting pop culture stuff that I don't really want necessarily that's still like good stuff, but like for me personally, I'm not into it just to unbox it so i was like nah forget it so i dropped that but i will be doing the unboxing for the april pop culture box because i'm still getting that one it's just in may i'm not going to be getting them anymore and uh you know maybe it'll change to a point where i reactivate that because something really cool is coming up like the april one is supposed to have a pop in it again which i think is cool um but i am replacing it I'm going to start opening this up, and I'll let you know. I am replacing that unboxing. I'm not just getting rid of unboxing altogether. So per what a lot of people requested in the comments on my unboxings when I talked about getting rid of the pop culture, I signed up for a Fright Crate. So a lot of people said, hey, do unboxings on Fright Crate. So I'm going to see how that ends up doing um, views-wise. Because the other thing for me is it didn't make sense anymore because I'm getting like around 800-ish, 700, 800 views on my uh, Bambox Horror unboxings. And then my pop culture unboxings were like between two and 300. So not much, <laughs> yeah, not much uh, payoff with the pop culture ones. So uh, I wonder if Fright Crate will be better, hopefully, because I'll enjoy getting that stuff more just because that's my jam. So yeah, so starting in May, I'm unboxing a Freight Crate. The thing is I have to stay on top of it because for Freight Crate, it's not like it doesn't keep going subscription-wise. Every first of the month, you have to sign in and purchase the box, and they do go relatively quick. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully I remember. Two pieces of tissue paper for my cat. Okay, that's exciting. All right, I'm going to pull out. Did I get a? Oh, I didn't see it fully. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now I remember there's an actual, like, signed item Okay, I'm just going to pull this out because it's on top, and this is actually the autograph. I'd never do the autograph first, but I'm doing it now. So, they said that everyone's going to get a signed knife in this one, like an actual knife. And it is... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I haven't seen this one yet. Okay, interesting. So, everyone can see... I'm going to have to take it out of there so you can see it better. There's the signature it's hard to like get enough light on it without it being like crazy reflective yeah you can see it so that's a yep axle sharp knife it's like one of these you know you can use this thing in the kitchen or it's horror related because usually that's where people get them and this is signed by twisty troy james who plays pretzel jack in channel zero the dream door so notice with their certificates of authenticity, they're starting to have like coding down there and that's so you can go online and like specifically verify that it was done at one of these signings. So they're just kind of like making their COA way better, which I think that's a good idea. That's great. Improvements like that are always awesome. So um, I'm not like super excited about this just because first of all, I don't really like having signed items like this, like some signed items cool, but like having like an actual knife that's possibly a liability because someone could hurt themselves. Um, it's just not my thing. I know there are people who really get excited about that, and that's cool. Uh, so this guy, Twisty Troy James, I have watched some of Channel Zero because I watch it on Shudder, on Shudder, which has Joe Bob Briggs as well. 
Uh, I watched the first two seasons, so I have not seen any other ones. I saw the first one that was uh, Candle Cove, and the second one was No End House. I think the next one's like Butcher Block or Butcher's Block or something like that. So I guess this Dream Door one must be like a fourth season that I guess isn't on Shutter yet because I've only seen three seasons on there. So yeah, I mean that's cool. I don't I don't know the guy unfortunately, but I'll keep watching Channel Zero and at some point I'll probably know him. Although that might be a bit of a spoiler. <laughs> Legitimately, that might be a bit of a spoiler. That kind of sucks, but oh, I did get a one up though. This is what I thought I was grabbing at first when I pulled this out, and I was like, huh? But yeah, had to do the autograph up front. I'm sorry. Let's do the pen. Let me go for the pen now. Uh, doo -doo 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 by Nick Kokoza. Yep, that's the name I recognize. It seems like they're kind of sticking with a core group now. They used to kind of rotate it a lot more than, than they have been recently, but that's fine. I mean, the pins pretty much always look good to me. <sighs> yeah, this is pretty solid. Um, Candyman. Just they just named this Candy. Who doesn't who doesn't like Candyman? And that is Candyman. Oh bees. Okay. When I when I was looking at it like this far away, because I I kind of need glasses to be honest. I, I just don't wear them. Um, when I was looking at it from this far away with how I'm not getting a whole lot of light looking down right here, I was like, is there like barnacles on his face or like mold or moss or something? It actually is bees. If you can. Let me get it up there. Can you guys make that out? It's bees. So, yeah. Um, this isn't, like, their best, to be honest. It's not my favorite, but it's solid. Like, this is a decent one. Plus, this is the first time they've done something from Candyman, which is awesome. Which, a lot of people... Let me put this over here. A lot of people don't know that the story for Candyman is based off something written by Clive Barker. So, man, Clive Barker's awesome. Love it. All right. So, the next thing, and then... It's not the last thing. What is this? Oh, oh, okay, awesome. This is something I had asked. Um, I had given feedback on this, and I was wondering if this was going to happen. Uh, they used to do comic books in their boxes, and that was like one of their core things for a while. They were like, we'll always do comic books. And uh, I was like, are you guys going to go back to comic books? Because I think that's actually kind of cool. So here's a comic book. It's a Z Nation first issue comic book by dynamite as seen on sci-fi per that okay so i haven't watched the nation and it's bagged and boarded which is key um yeah that's cool oh i'm so glad um i'm excited to see if they keep doing this because i'm i'm down i i like to read comics here and there so that's cool i haven't watched z nation i know there are plenty of people out there who really do like z nation I think those have been like the most popular zombie related things on TV is uh, Walking Dead and Z Nation. Um, I mean, so I've heard good things. I just haven't checked it out. I don't know if I will or not. We'll find out. Oh, man, I'm kind of I'm pretty excited about that. All right. And then the art print, doo -doo -doo -doo, it is entitled Pets and it's by the artist Dead, D-E-D. -E -D. Okay. Hmm. This is my upgrade. It's number 114 out of 500. Um, this is interesting. So it's not so much art, like drawn art. It's more like picture, like um, graphic design, like pictures taken and kind of melded together and artistically meshed in a sense. So this is for the new Pet Cemetery. And you can see, because I recognize the stuff from the trailer. I haven't actually seen it yet. Reviews are mixed for some reason. Um, well, I wouldn't say for some reason. I mean, the reviews just happen to be mixed. Some people are loving it. Some people are not loving it. I thought the trailer looked really good. And the fact that John Lithgow's in it, because I love John Lithgow. I mean, who didn't love him in his turn as the Trinity Killer in Dexter? Oh, so good. He's just a great actor anyway. So I will definitely see it. But um, yeah, you can kind of see Church the cat in there right there and these are the kids you have to have you have to have either seen the movie or seen the trailer to kind of know what's going on here so um i'm not crazy impressed with this i mean it's kind of cool i just like when i think like art print i want something that's like more it looks like it's like drawn or painted or something like that Less of, like, a graphic design thing. But, I mean, I wouldn't count out the whole graphic design thing. 
I'd be, I'm going to be interested to see what the variants on this were. Um, and don't get me wrong, I don't dislike it. It's just, it's not what I was looking for, really. Oh, okay. So, this is another one of these things where, like, the rare version just is a different color. So, it's the same design. Like, that's one of the things that kind of gets me about this. See? That's what most people got. And then, I mean, of the two, I do like the pink version more, which is the one that I got. So, that's cool. But... This is what I don't like. Like, I don't like where there's just, like, the variant is. It's just a different color. Like, that's not... I mean, if it's, like, a different color and something's a little bit different in the picture, like, that's one thing. Or if it's a different color and there's, like, blood splatter on it or something like that. Like, kind of like some of the pops do for, like, chase pops. It is pretty much the same pop. It's just, like, blood, blood splattered. Like, that's cooler. So, I don't know. But anyway, um... The comics, actually, there are a few comics you could have ended up with. Actually, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. you will receive a comic from franchises including Elvira, Evil Ernie, Vampirella, Army of Darkness, and more. Oh, so I guess this is just kind of an announcement. Okay. So it looks like, from what's written here, because they have like a smattering of what you could end up getting, this indicates to me that they're partnering with Dynamite going forward and there's going to be, a, like, a Dynamite horror comic in each box. Which, if that's the case, very nice. I'm, I'm totally down with that. That's sweet. And then the, oh, the pins. Ooh, man, the limited out of 99 pins, really cool. And the limited out of 250, I think, is a little bit more cool than the regular one. Look at this. Like, the B with the hook thing, that's cool. I like that a lot. That's really cool. That, see, that's, like, a really cool, like, outside-of-the-box design. I like that. Like, that's that's pretty sweet. I wish I would have gotten that one. But anyway, um, so the private signing with Troy James, there were a few... Oh, no, everyone got that signed knife. So here he is posing, and he's got a knife going on there. Sorry if people hear vibrating. My phone's ringing in my pocket. Um, yeah, so there he is posing with the knife. That's cool. Looks like he was into it. And from what... Um, Adam MacArthur, the uh, the um, CEO head of, of Bambox, had said that he was like really excited about doing the signing, and he was like coming up in his mind with like a pose he could do for this picture. So like it seemed like he was like way in. So I think that's really awesome. So that's cool. And then they were having a giveaway of someone could win a Tony Todd signed Candyman photo, eleven by fourteen. <sighs> Man, Tony Todd, awesome. Love him. He's so friggin' iconic. So I'm hoping I'll be meeting him because I'm going to Monster Mania in New Jersey in August. And I think he's going to be there. I'm not, um, maybe he's not going to be at that one. I don't think he's going to be at that one. He's going to be the one I'm going to the first weekend of October in Hunt Valley, Maryland. And um, he's there with Virginia Madsen as well. So I think I'm going to get both of them to sign something from Candyman. That would be awesome. I've been wanting to get Tony Todd, but I've just um, ended up missing him a few times. Or I've kind of, you know, I go to these conventions with a budget. So I've kind of like busted my budget with some bigger names. And then I see him and I'm like, I want to, but I busted my budget. So anyway, but uh, cool. Overall, um, I mean, I'm okay with this. The The best things for me is the pin, the pin looks pretty good. The art print. I mean, I like that I got the special one. I just, it's just not my thing. Excited that they got the comic books back. That's cool. I like that idea. And I think it's a cool concept about everyone getting a signed knife. It seems like the guy who signed it had a really good time with it. So that's really cool. So solid box. It's just not like my favorite. So I'm going to keep with this. Uh, and then, like I said, for next month, look forward to this box as well as Fright Crate, which I will be doing as well. And I went for the larger size Fright Crate, which I think is five to six items. I think the lower for 20 bucks is like before shipping and handling is like three to four items. And then the one for 30 before shipping and handling is like five to six items. So I went for the five to six because I was like, well, May is my birthday month. So go big or go home. So yeah, we'll see how that is. Anyway, thank you everyone for checking this out. Hit that subscribe. Helps me out a lot. Literally takes you a second. Do it for me, please. Hit the notification bell if you want to know every time I'm putting up a video, of which I'm doing a lot more. And then put down a comment, what were your thoughts on this box, if you got it or not. Uh, yeah, let's go. Anyway, until next time, keep it brutal. Oops.